up YouTube, this is PZCSC in here. Today's video is going to be a little bit random, a little bit off the ball, a little bit unexpected. Um, this is actually something that I'm doing for a friend of mine, and uh, I figured that I would actually record the process. It's a very simple thing, but I figured it would make for an interesting video. So, before I go ahead and get into this video, uh, this friend of mine, his name happens to be Andy, and um, he has a YouTube channel, alright? My other friends have actually gotten together and have made a gaming channel on YouTube. Uh, the channel, for those of you who are curious, is called The Lonely Gamers. And it would mean a lot to both me and him uh, if you would go and check out their channel. If you, if you want to see a video specifically f featuring Andy, then make sure to click on this annotation right here. This is actually one of my favorite videos that they've done up to this point. Uh, you'll def I I'm pretty sure you'll definitely enjoy it too. Um, they are trying to get better equipment, so just give them a little bit of time. They're still in their early stages of video making. So they're just using the equipment that they already have, which is basically like a webcam, mic, and all that jazz. But um, definitely make sure that you check out the channel, show your support, and maybe even subscribe to them. Uh, because they definitely deserve it. They are pretty entertaining, and I cannot wait for them to get at least a better microphone, because uh, that really seems to be the only thing that they really need right now is a better microphone. So anyways, that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and let's get into what this video is about. This video is about this thing, which is actually a lighter, for those of you who are like, what the heck is that? Um, I mean, you probably figured it out judging from all the th other things that are sitting around here. But yes, this thing is a lighter. Um, this is actually, it's a really interesting concept. You see, my friend is actually the kind of guy who's into all sorts of really obscure uh, and really sort of out there um, antiques. Stuff that, I mean, obviously back in their time people knew about them, I'm sure. It's just that nowadays they've kind of fallen into the sands of time and no one really knows about them anymore. So he's really into that stuff, so that is why you've probably never even heard of this thing um, or never even seen it. But this thing is really unique. I don't know who made it. Uh, it kind of reminds me of an old Ronson, so it could be an old Ronson. Um, but basically, the way that this thing works is you've got this little button right here, this little flap, and when you press it, this lid opens up like that. Okay? Now the thing is, is that the lid is actually directly attached to a little wheel, and you saw it right there. There's a little, yeah, you see that? You see there's a flint wheel in there, and obviously underneath that there is a flint. So what happens is that when you press this, you're opening the lid and spinning a little spark wheel, which is throwing sparks onto that wick. So it all kind of happens in one motion. All right. Hang on. You really have to press it. See that? Yeah, you can kind of you kind of see the sparks flying there. So that is how this thing works. Um, internally, it is actually very very similar to a Zippo. Um, it it it, ha it works based on the same principle. It is a wick lighter, and obviously the uh, the lighter fluid is being held in place by some rayon or cotton. I'm I'm kind of guessing in this case it's probably going to be cotton and not rayon because rayon is a synthetic thing. And I don't know. Um, so yeah. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be replacing the flint, and I'm also going to be filling it, because I told him that I would. He asked me to, and I said yes. So, yep, that is what I'm going to be doing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So let me go ahead and start with the flint, because I have a feeling that would probably be the better thing to start with. Um, in order to access the flint, you actually have to open up this door. All right, this door, and you're probably wondering what the heck this is for. Me, in my infinite wisdom and um, non-smoker knowledge, um, immediately assumed that this is for like, oh, you put your credit card in there. Oh, that's perfect. I love that. You put your credit card in there, and you already got it on you. No, um, this is where you put your cigarettes. <laughs> I love. Uh, sometimes I just find my brain to be absolutely hilarious. Um, so yeah, but as you can see in here, we've got this little knob, or little, um, cover. And I don't really fully know how it works, because, um, we did take the flint out, but I wasn't the one who did it. He was the one who did it, but I think, judging from the way that this looks, you kind of, maybe, I think this actually does unscrew, so let me go ahead and let me unscrew it. Alright, this is probably spring-loaded. Yeah, it's definitely coming out. There we go. 
So we've got there. It actually kind of looks a lot like a Zippo. It's got the little spacer, although the spacer is really small, but I'm thinking that might be uh, intentional. And we also have the flint itself. Now this flint is some no-name flint. I'm not really sure what kind of flint this could be. Let me show it to you. So here we have the flint. It's a little, it's actually silver in color. But as you can see, it's getting dangerously small. We actually did lose it, and uh, I, I'm amazed that I was able to find it. But yeah, it is getting pretty small. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to swap it out for one of these. All right, we've just got a couple of Zippo flints in here. So let's go and do that. One neat thing about having this tray design is that you can actually do this to get your flints out. Bam. Just like that. Just drop it in. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's, it's good because then you actually don't really lose it. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take this. I do think this was, it just did come out of a Zippo. No, this is a brand new flint. So nice, you're getting a bonus, dude. Usually uh, the flints that are in this dispenser actually came out of uh, zi um, Zippos. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this in here. Boop. It's in there. And then we're just going to put this little thing back on. So again, it works a lot like a Zippo in that it has that spacer and the spring. So if I can line that up properly, then um, that would be a bonus. You know what I mean? Also, I think my white balance is being thrown off due to the fact that I've zoomed in. There we go, finally got it in. Alright. Not that the white balance has anything to do with it, I just noticed that it looked really dark in there. So, yeah, anyways, let's get this put back to put back down. There we go. We put back together. Uh, this door also, I think, is spring-loaded. Yep, it is. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and close this back up and give it a test run. Oh, that's a lot better. Now, obviously, we're, you're noticing that the, uh, the lid here kind of is weird. kind of doesn't always close. But yeah, you, you definitely don't need as much force anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and do this a few times just to break it in a little bit. Just so that way the flint is uh, broken in a bit. Having something like this actually would be great for break for breaking in your Zippo flints to put in your actual Zippo because this definitely takes a lot less effort to spark than an, uh, than a Zippo does uh, when you put a brand new flint in that. So that's pretty epic. Boom. And there we go. All right, I think that's pretty good. So now it's all well nicely and wow, I, I butchered that. So now it's all nice and broken in. So just press down and boom. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and fill it. So this is where things actually differ quite a bit from Zippo. So usually if you want to fill up your Zippo, what you do is you open it up, you pull this entire insert out, all right, and then you, what I like to do is I like to flip my cam up and then actually flip it around. And then you have to lift this up, this little piece of felt to gain, to gain access to your rayon. Uh, but in this case, um, I kind of like this design a little bit better, I think. Um, we actually need to unscrew that thing. Now there is one little drawback is that this lid here, I am quite a bit certain this lid is not airtight. Uh, so therefore, we do, st we, this probably still does have that, uh, the issue of, um, evaporating fluid. So, just so you know. But this takes Zippo fluid just like a regular Zippo. I've, I've never actually looked inside of this, so... Yeah, as you can see, there's a little bit of cotton right there. And what I'm going to do, because I don't really know what the exact capacity of this thing is, I think I'm going to just fill it up with two five-second pours. Just to... Because um, I'm going to be giving it back to him tomorrow, and I'm probably just going to throw it right in my backpack. I don't want this thing to be leaking. Um, I do imagine that with that design, uh, it might not exactly have the... It might, it might not exactly be the most... Um, what is it, like, the most, I don't know, it just seems like it could leak easily, so I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, let's go ahead and do it, so, let's do, just like this, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, let's do it one more time, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Got stuck in there. And there we go. That should be plenty. I might just top it off a little bit. 
Uh, yeah, we're actually, I'm not going to put any more than that in there. I think I pretty well filled it. So, let's go ahead and make sure that we're safe here. It probably was not a good idea to tip it while this lid was off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this back down. Okay, I'm just going to go and tighten it down a little bit just so that way it doesn't like get loose on us. Awesome, there we go. Now I'm going to go and grab a paper towel and clean this up a little bit just because. Okay. That should be pretty good, just making sure that all the excess fluid is gone. So, let's go ahead and angle up a little bit. And give it a first light. Ready? Three, two, one. Now that is pretty sick. Oh, uh-oh. Hmm, there's a little bit of a design flaw right there. Um, yeah, that lid definitely, um... <laughs> I don't know why it's not closing all the way, but... There you go. Oh, it ain't lighting anymore. Hang on. Shake it a little bit. Here. Just kind of blow on the wick a little bit, and... Huh. Ooh, you know what might have happened? Um... I wonder if that wick... Or if that... Oh, wait. Does this thing have a leak in it? That would not be good. Hang on. Let me open this. Uh, no, there's nothing leaking, really. I'm sorry, that was all out of frame. Um, I'm not getting any sparks anymore for some reason. I do not know why. This is a very, that's very bizarre. Um, is that, I need to look in there. Alright. Yeah, that flint wheel right there does look a little bit, a little bit wet. Yeah, kinda. But it did it did light the first time at least, so there's that. Let's see here. Let me get this to work. External fuel source for the win. Just for some reason. I'm thinking what's happening is that, oh man, I might have overfilled it thinking about it, but for some reason the uh, the fluid is getting onto the flint or the flint wheel, and the thing is that when you have a, a wet flint wheel or a wet flint, it really doesn't spark at all. Let me blow into it a little bit. Alright, so I just blow into it a bit. Let's try it now. Alright, again. Oh, we're throwing sparks, though. Check that out. Oh, there we go. We got it to light on its own. Second time, though. That's very strange. I, I really do not know what's going on with that. Um, anyways, guys, I think that's all, really, for this lighter. I mean, I still do not know, really, who made it. Uh, but it is definitely pretty cool. Um, I guess don't put too much fuel fluid in it, <laughs> obviously. Uh, I might have maybe maxed it out a little bit. So that might be part of it. I guess what I could do is maybe... Well, nah. But I guess what you could do if you if you so desired is maybe open this up and then let some of the fluid evaporate out and then try it again. Or what you could do is maybe kind of... <laughs> I don't know, guys. Anyways... Uh, it definitely is a pretty neat concept. I like it a lot. Uh, it's just that, for some reason, it's just not lighting right now. Unless you have an external fire source. That's pretty cool, though. Oh, yeah, you see that? There's, like, two flames forming right there. You see that? Oh. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Yeah, the thing is, I just figured it out. You see, there was, like, an, a direct open path, so, like, there was another f little flame forming over here. And then when I closed it, you saw it wasn't actually going out right away. Um, so this might just be something that remains a collectible. <laughs> um, or just don't fill it as much as I did. So, guys, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, and you can put an engraving there.
I s maybe there's uh, information on who made it on the inside. Not that I can see. Oh, wait, yeah, there is. There's a little thing right there. Right? Isn't that a little emblem? Let's see. It says Evans on it. So I guess Evans made this, whoever they are. All right. Cool beans. Thank you all for watching. So thanks for watching, everybody. Come on, one more. Just one more like. Thanks for watching. And good grief. <laughs> Adios. Alright guys, just wanted to come back on here at the end because uh, I was just now shooting some pictures to potentially use as a thumbnail and uh, I actually noticed that it's lighting a lot more reliably now. Still not quite as reliable as I would hope, but it's certainly, it, it is actually lighting more now. That was actually kind of neat like fireworks show. Yep. I love flint lighters because of that. They tend to like make cool sparks. I love it. So, yeah, it's actually lighting a lot more reliably now. Um, so, yeah, just, uh, just thought I'd come on here and let you guys know in case you're getting concerned. So, yeah, it seems to be lighting pretty much 100% now. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, now for real, thanks for watching.